Okay, so good morning class. Now we will we start the uh, next topic, uh, distributional uh, semantics. So before we start the distributional semantics, first we understand what is the difference between the syntax and the semantics. Yes, any student can explain what is the difference between the syntax and semantics. Yes, Levin. Yes, sir. You have any idea about the syntax and semantics? Uh, yes. Syntax is when there is the error in spelling of uh, meaning of the sentence and semantics is the structure of the sentence. Yes, anyone? Which case? Hello. Yes, can you explain the difference between syntax and semantics? So, uh, syntax means the structure and semantics means meaning. Which meaning means which meaning? Bharati Kumar? Yes, sir. What is the syntax? Sir, uh, sir syntax is uh, actually grammar. Bol sakta, sir, jo structure and form is the usko refer to the meaning of semantics. It means that it will refer to the Durva? Hello, Durva Akri. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, uh, syntax means uh, in, uh, with, in programming like Python, we have to uh, like write in proper indentation. Uh, that is called syntax. And semantics means the rules, uh, rules for which uh, it is needed is called uh, uh, semantics. No, wrong. Then last we take, then we will start the discussion. Yes, Pratik Dutta. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, basically, syntax refers to the grammatical uh, means uh, syntax is basically uh, considered as a structure. So, structure of any sentence or structure of any suppose code or uh, we are going technically. So, structure of anything is known as syntax. And semantic is to improve that structure means if we are writing, suppose we are writing a sentence, so in sentence type subject, object, verb. So this is the structure, so this is the syntax of the sentence. And the meaning of the particular is considered as semantic. Okay. Ashish Ramtekar. Ashish Ramtekar. I think your mic is not working. Ashish. Ramsar, yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Our syntax is like the structure of our programming language mm -hmm. that it follows to compute some instructions and semantic is the meaning of the statement. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your uh, valuable. And feedback, but uh, the syntax and the semantics, yes. The syntax is nothing but the, you can say that it is one of, you have to follow the one structure. Okay. And uh, there is no meaning. You have to just follow that structure. Right. And the semantics means, in the semantics, you are more concentrated on the meaning. If it is meaningful, then and then you can construct that, that particular. Uh, sentence, otherwise you are not concentrating, uh, constructing that particular sentence. But in a syntax, you have to follow the syntax. It means that, let us consider in our uh, normal programming language, if I say that what is the uh, syntax for if loop, if and else, so you are normally say that this is a if, then there is a condition, okay, uh, this is opening and this is a close, there is a statement, and then there is a else. And again, there is a one statement, group of the statement. 
ओके सो दिस इज नॉर्मली सिंटैक्स यू कैन एज सिंटैक्स राइट सो यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस सिंटैक्स वेन एर यू आर यूज इफ एन एल स्टेटमेंट इफ एन यू बड़ी आर्ट यू to implement the program using the if and else statement so you have to follow this syntax and this is the syntax there is no many okay but opposite to that what is the what is the semantic in a semantic it is more focused on the meaning not only the syntax the syntax just you have to follow the syntax i other follow or not but it more concentrate on how you are saying things due the meaning okay so you can be say that it is a meaning here we are more concentrated on what is the meaning of that particular statement and here we are on a syntax you have to follow the structure pre defined structure okay it is a pre defined okay so this is a pre defined structure and in the semantic you have to follow the meaning so syntax is nothing but the arrangement of the words in a natural language processing if you say that what is the syntax so syntax is nothing but the arrangement of the word while the semantic is about the meaning they are more concentrated on the meaning it is study uh, it is a study of meaning the semantic is nothing but the study of your uh, the meaning of the word right so let us consider the word bank as we already seen that this example bank okay and bank so both are represent a different different meaning in context with a its previous word and its after word okay so uh, what is the w1 what is the w2 okay then w3 and the w4 let us consider there are the total five words w1 w2 w3 w4 so on the basis of the w1 w2 on the basis of the w3 and w4 the meaning of the bank is different right so you cannot say that the bank means only the financial it is used for the financial is only so this bank keyword is uh, is uh, um, based on the context what is the context of your sentence so this is a sentence let us consider this is a sentence s so there are the few words that is the w1 that is the w2 that is the w3 and the w4 so when you say that w1 w So if you know that the what is the W1, W2, W3, and W4, then and then you can do the proper meaning of the bank. Okay. So in this case, this is called as a semantic. While the end of the word, so let us consider you have to use the verb B, B, S. Sorry, what uh, word? Verb, noun, and objective are like this. Okay. So that is a predefined. So this is called as a semantic. You have to follow the S, V. that is subject verb and the object okay subject verb and the object so this is my pre defined this is my pre defined arrangement of the word so first you have to do the subject then you have to do the verb and you have to do the object for example ram eating and at a mango okay so in this sentence ram is a subject eating is a verb and the uh, mango is a object okay so this is easily you can find out if there is a particular syntax you follow so but in the meaning in the meaning you have to find out the uh, meaning of this word and this word like the bank is totally depend on what is the previous word what are the previous word on its uh, left hand side and what are the previous after words on his right hand side okay so this is called as a semantic and the, this is a difference between the semantic and the syntax so in this lecture we will see uh, the distribution distributional semantics and uh, semantic uh, knowledge in this so what is a semantic the study of meaning if we ask you what is a semantic the semantic is not nothing but the study of meaning it is a relational relation between the symbol and their uh, denoted john told mary that the train move out the station at 3 o'clock so from this what meaning we are getting okay we are not 
focusing on what is the syntax of this sentence, how these words are placed properly or not, but we are more concentrated on the the meaning of this word, what this sentence is indicating. The so John told Mary that the train moved out of the station at 3 o'clock. Okay, so we have to find out the meaning uh, of this word. So, how this computation, computation semantic we can work? How the machine or the computer produces the semantic representation of the word? So, this is most important how your machine and the computer, because who generates this semantic? Your computer or your, your machine has been generated uh, uh, semantic. So, how the computer find out the meaning of that particular word? or how they find out the represents the uh, uh, semantic of the word. So that is more um, challenging task. So the computational semantic that comes from under the computation uh, semantic or the computational semantic, the computational semantic is the study of how the how to automate the process of constructing and reasoning with the meaning representation of natural language expression. So here we have to find out how to automate the processes of constructing and reasoning of your meaning. So Finding out the meaning of the word uh, in this, we can find out using the computational semantics. So, method computational semantics generally falls into the two categories. There are the two basic categories we can find out using the uh, computational semantics. The first one is called as a formal semantics. So, in the formal semantics, means there is a predefined syntax we have to use uh, that is the construction of the previous mathematical model. So, here you have to use the previous mathematical model. Uh, of the relation between the expression in natural language and the word. So, John says the back. Okay. So, here you can we already seen that in the first year what is uh, indicating. So, this is nothing but your mathematical representation of the of the sentence John says the back. Okay. So, this is the first method we have to use for the semantic, but very popular one is called the distributional semantic. So, in, a, in our uh, coming lecture we have to more focus on the Distributional semantic. Distributional semantic is a study of statistical pattern of the uh, human word you use to extract the semantic. Okay, so we are using some statistical pattern or statistical information, statistical formula uh, to find out the extract to extract the semantic. What uh, by the semantic that is called the meaning, meaning of the word. Okay, so instead of just focusing on the uh, we define mathematical model in this distributional semantic we are generating a, uh, our meaning of the word based on the some statistical pattern and that is called as a distributional semantic and this is our main target of our next lecture that understand the distributional semantic. So, what is the distribution uh, distributional uh, hypothesis? So, distribution hypothesis means what? So, let us consider the uh, sentence the meaning of the word is it used in a language. So, and you know the word by the company it keeps. So, word meaning uh, here we are giving the semantically similar word tend to have the similar distributional pattern. Okay. So, here we are more focusing on the patterns of that particular sentence. How the patterns are similar. If the patterns are similar, so we can say that the thing has a, they are uh, belonging to the semantically similar word. Okay, so based on the pattern, we have to find out the meaning of your word, or we can uh, say that the, the words are similar. It means that the two words have a similar or different meaning if we can measure their context and capture that. Okay, so measuring the context is most important. Why? Because the same word, uh, two, uh, uh, because the two words, you can say that having the similar or different meaning. Okay. Let us consider the bank. This word you can say that it has a same meaning or it may be a different meaning, but it is totally based on what are the previous word W1, W2, W3 and W4. Okay. So, these are the previous word, these are the previous word W1, W2 and W3, W4. So, based on that, this word, uh, for example, now this time, again there is a sentence 2. This is a sentence 1, you can represent either S1, and this is a sentence 2, represent, and again there is a W1, W2, 
the blue three and the blue four. Okay. Now I want to find out the meaning of the bank are similar or different. So the these two words means bank bank. I think they can be similar or they can be a different word. But it totally depend on the context. Totally depend on the context means in which context we are use that particular word. Uh, so we have to find out using the distributional uh, hypothesis. The two word having the same meaning if they occurred in the same context. What do you mean? They, what, mean what do you mean by that? The two word having the same meaning means the bank and the bank having the same meaning if they occur at the same context. So if they are, if any finance related word, let us consider here you are using the finance. And also here you can use the account. Okay. So let us consider in my first sentence, in my first sentence there is a word finance. Okay. Like in the W3 and account in the W3 or in the W4. You may be W4. You can say that. So the context is nothing but the financial transaction bank. Okay. So the meaning are same. Now this bank and this bank are same. But let us consider. Let us consider. Uh, let us consider now. Here the W4 is represent. W4 is represent river. Okay. So now. These are the different meaning. So this bank and this bank having the different meaning because the first bank uh, keyword is related to the finance and the second bank word is related to reward. Okay, so the both having the different meaning, right? So the two words may have the similar or different meaning based on their context. The two word having the same meaning if they occur in the same context. So in this case, we can say that this bank and this bank are not matched because their context are different. So first bank is related to financial transaction. And second bank is related to the uh, river, uh, river of the bank. Okay, but if there is any word uh, instead of the uh, river, if you use the account word here, so in that case you can say that the both are same. This bank and this bank are in the same word, same meaning. Okay, so this is called the distributional uh, hypothesis. If linguistic is to deal with it, it can only do through so through distributional analysis. So that's why I for the Jing, uh, Jing Harris has uh, mentioned that if the linguistic deal with the meaning, if your language is meaning uh, deal with meaning, it can only do by using the distributional analysis. Okay, so that's why the distributional analysis has the more important in a semantic uh, uh, technology or semantic name, uh, semantic thing. Uh, as compared to the other mathematical operation. Okay, so let us consider this scenario. Uh, in this scenario, if we consider the two word A and B, let us consider there are the two word A and B to be a more different in meaning than A and C, then we will often find that the distribution of A and B are more different than the distribution of the A and the C. In other words, the difference in the meaning correlated with the differences of the distribution. Okay, so what do you mean by the this distributional structure? Let us understand it. So let us consider there is a uh, three word A and B and C. A, A, B. Okay, and the C. So these A and C are more related, but more differentiated. Okay, A and C are more differentiated. That A is represent the car and B is represent the book. So word A is represent the car, while the A uh, the word uh, C is represent the book, while C is represent the automobile. C is represent the automobile. So you can say that A and B are more different than A and the C. Okay, so this is a distributional uh, uh, hypothesis of particular word, and these are the quite similar. Why? Because the car and the automobile having the some similarity. 
Okay, the word car and the automobile, you can see that they have the more similar, uh, they are come under the more similar uh, uh, context, so you can say that these, these are the quite similar, while A and the B, A and the B are quite different. Why? Because A is represent the car and B is represent the book. So there is no relation between the car and the book. Okay, so you can say that they are the more different as compared to the car and the automobile. Are you getting? So this is called the distribution hypothesis. Now, what is the difference between the referential and the distributional semantic? So, in a referential semantic, in which we have to find the meaning of the word, and you have to find the reference between these two words. Okay. So, in a referential uh, referential semantic, yes, you have to uh, find out the references of these words. Uh, how these words are related to other words, you have to find out the references. While in a distributional semantic where you have to find out the similar or differences between these words. So that's why it is very easy as compared to the referential semantic that you can easily find out the similarity or the differences between the uh, these two words. Okay, so continue with our first example that is a car, book and the automobile. Okay, so they just consider there are the three words, car, book and the automobile. So in that case, you can see that the car and mower are more related as compared to the car and book. They are different. They are different. Okay, while they are the more similar. So easily uh, we can find out the find out that which two words are more similar and which two words are more different as compared to the referential semantic. So what do you mean by referential semantic? In a referential semantic, you have to find out the references of that particular word. Now, for example, you have to find out the car's reference. So car is represent what what is the, in each context you have to find out the uh, car, then book reference, then the automobile uh, automobile uh, reference. So in that you have to find out the meaning of the word also. Right, so this is more uh, time consuming as compared to the distributional semantic. So that's why nowadays we are using the distributional uh, semantic uh, to find out the uh, meaning of the word or to find out the uh, similarity of the word. Okay, so I hope you understand now what is the distributional uh, semantic. Yes, class. So now uh, after this differential and distributional semantic, let us start a cognitive perspective of the word. Okay, so what is the cognitive perspective? The word conceptual representation is an abstract cognitive structure that accumulates from the encounter with a word in a various linguistic context. Okay, so what is the various linguistic context? Because as you know that the word's meaning has been changed according to the word, uh, according to the language. Okay, so there are the various language, so that word's meaning has been changed according to that particular ling, uh, language and according to that particular language context. Okay, so this uh, word contextual represents, uh, representation has been changed Okay. So here we have to provide the various uh, linguistic uh, context means other than uh, for different language we have to use the different context. Now, we learn the new word based on the contextual skills. So we tell the when things with the substance pass it around and we all run from more. Okay, so let us consider I want to find out the meaning of this word. Ramping. Now, what do you mean by this? So, what is, what is this indicating the vamping? One thing, one, one thing now. Yes. So, as per the context, you can just read out the word uh, sentence again. He filled the vamping mug with a substance and pass it around, and we all drink some. So, what is your opinion? Just class. Can you can you find out what is indicating? Yes, Rohit Chitte. 
रोहित आशीष कोटेजा यस सर व्हाट इज 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 इंडिकेटिंग गोल्ड वर्ड सर इट माइट बी लाइक यू टेन सिंह हाउ यू कैन गेज इट सर इट इज काइंड ऑफ मेटल आई थिंक यस करेक्ट बट हाउ यू कैन फील्ड है ना सो हियर वी हैव टू बाय बिफोर इट्स वर्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू ओके एंड देन द लेटर कंट्री दट दीज आर द टॉप वर्ड देन डब्ल्यू थ्री डब्ल्यू फोर ओके ऑल दिस डब्ल्यू 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 एन ओके सो वेन आई रीड ऑल दिस डब्ल्यू इन कॉन्टेक्ट विथ दिस ग्रैम किंग मग सो आई फाइंड आउट दैट इट मे बी मज बी अम ऑफ द मग और टॉप ओके इन विच यू हैव टू pull out the song drink and then it pass out because we all drunk that particular thing okay so you can see that this is a cup it is a glass either it can be a, a type of glass mug okay and uh, even though we don't know the exact meaning of this is it a, a chinese word is it a french word is it a any other language uh, linguistic word but our machine learning can find out that Yes, this is one of the utensils. Uh, here you can uh, pour the cup. Uh, One means drink, okay, liquid, and you have to drink it. Okay, so this is the first one. Now it might be a glass. Correct. We found a little man thing sleeping behind the tree. Now the same word now. The same word again. You have to find out. So what is this? Yes, please. Yes, sir. I did get it. Same problem. Yes, same problem. Okay. In the first sentence, so when thing is we present the glass. Right? Yes. Yes. How you can say that it is a glass because there are the few sentence usage. Sentence. Okay. Yes, sir. Some usage of the sentence that is uh, he filled, then drunk, and uh, all this stuff, and it is the soft one. Okay. So from this we are guessing that so it must be a glass. Yes. Okay. Now this is another sentence. You can say that the sentence two and this is a sentence one. Now I want to find out the meaning of this word that is a ramp thing. Can I say ramp thing? So what is this? So the sentence is we found a little ramp thing. It can be the animal, small animal, little animal. Very good. It might be a small animal. Okay. So now the context has been changed, and according to this context, because here we can see that the sleeping and behind the tree, and we found okay. So we might say that it is a small animal. It may be its name may be a vampire, but in the first sentence, the vampire is represent the glass. Are you getting? So finding out this meaning that is called the semantics. We are not we are concentrating on the syntax. we are not concentrating on the syntax See, what is the syntax we are follow in this sentence in a sentence yes one is the syntactically correct or else yes two is syntactically correct or not we are not bother about that we are we have to find out the meaning of the word hai right? and the meaning of the word uh, that is totally depend on the previous and after uh, its other word okay so w1 w2 w3 w3 w4 and this again these are the ones So in the first case, in the first sentence, it is called as a uh, uh, glass, and in the second place, it is called as a small animal. Okay. Now, the distribution semantic model called as a DSM. The computational model, DSM is a computational model that builds the contextual semantic representation from the corpus data. Okay. So here we have to more concentrate on the corpus data. Uh, from that, we have to develop the distribution distribution semantic model the dsm are the model for the semantic representation where the semantic content is represent by the vector now how we can use mathematical thing that is a vector that is said okay the semantic content so what are the semantic content you are use for example w1 w2 w3 all the things are you how you represent as a one of the vector here The vector are obtained through the statistical analysis of the linguistic context of the word. 
So here we are giving the vector are obtained through the statistical analysis of the linguistic context of the world. And the alternative name uh, for this uh, DSM, uh, that is the distribution semantic model, are corpus based semantic, it may be a corpus based semantic, it may be called as a statistical semantic, it may be called as a geometrical uh, model of meaning, vector semantic, or the word space model. Yes, so you either say that anything, but this is nothing but the your distributional distribution semantic model, that is the DSM. And what is the DSM? In a DSM, whatever the word you have, whatever the sentence you have, and sentence is nothing but the combination of word W1, W3, W4, W5, and so on. Okay, that you have to represent this word or sentence as one of the vector, and then the vector are obtained through the statistical analysis of the linguistic context of the word. Okay. Now, there are the few terminology we have to use uh, for using the DSM, for implementing the DSM. First is called the distribution. So, the distribution of the vector uh, in a multi-dimensional semantic space, that is, object with a magnitude and the direction. <coughs> then, semantic space. What is the semantic space? The semantic space has a dimension which corresponds to the possible context as gathered from the given corpus. Okay, so these are the uh, most important terminology we have to use. That is the distribution, what is the distribution and the semantic space. Now, what is the vector space representation of the word? The vector space representation of the word 